It is quite the chilly morning here in the shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start the forge. <sighs> yeah, it's pretty cold. So we're gonna warm it up in here. We're gonna, we're gonna make the guard and the pommel. I have a, some hex bar laid out over here. I'm gonna start the forge and I just redid my whole forging space. Oh, look at that. That is way more efficient. I'm really excited to do some work right here. I mean, just look at that. That is the perfect place to forge. So I actually have three guards heating up in the forge. I have the dagger guard, a long sword guard, and a short sword guard over here. So, that's why you see multiple in the forge. We're making three guards today, at least.
guard all forged and rough shaped. I also have the pommel, which has been rough shaped. And I chose the handle material. So this is my thoughts for the handle. Really nice guard. Some of my titanium Damascus. I found this amazing piece of Amboynia burl. And another piece of titanium Damascus. And the pommel. And the blade is just going to look so nice with all of that together. So I'm going to jump on the grinder, clean up the blade, and then we'll get the handle fit. I'm really excited to be at the halfway mark at uh, for building this knife. It's been such a fun build so far. I haven't made many daggers, so I'm really excited to make kind of an over-the-top dagger. I cannot wait to get this all finished up and everything perfect, everything nice and polished. It is going to look fantastic. I'm really excited to continue on this build. have it at a 120 grit here. We are going to do a little test etch. This is just a darkening solution. It doesn't eat away much of the steel, but it will show us the pattern pretty well. There we go. That is test etch. That is looking really cool. I have the guard marked up. I marked it up as if I was putting the whole bottom of the knife in here, but I'm not. I'm just doing the tang. I'll fit it all up real nicely. So, I just need to mark kind of where that tang is. So I can drill some pilot holes. and Then I will start hand filing. Now that the guard is all fit up, I'm going to drill through the handle material and get that fit up to the tang as well. And then I will get the pommel fit up and the uh, two titanium Damascus spacers. So let's get drilling.
have the guard all fit up. And the handle is very, very close. So I left a little space for the titanium Damascus spacer. It's going to use an end cut off of this billet. And the next thing is I'm going to bring down the profile on the pommel a little bit so it's angled thinner right here. And this will be the spacer for in between these two pieces. So let's finish getting all the rough fitting done on this handle. And then I can drill and thread the pommel. And we can really start finishing this up. Dremel out the section here in the titanium Damascus so we can fit the tang through there. I'll probably do a little filing. We'll clean up with some hand files after I use the Dremel. Now I have to do the finish grinding on the spacer so it matches up perfectly with the slight curvature of the guard. But that is good enough for a rough fit up. So I have it rough fit up. Some gaps that I have to fix here and there. But that is all in the fine finishing work. A little bit more file work on the guard. And then it will be kind of shaping spacers and the handle material and then it's all finishing from there so I'm really really happy with how this is going it's going to look really cool with the titanium Damascus spacers and uh, still haven't decided on what I'm doing for the guard for the texture uh, it will be flush fit up there will be no gaps there and those will disappear as I continue working all of this into perfect order uh, I think I might do kind of a rougher texture on the guard, maybe do a something that's a kind of a dark gray that goes well with the high carbon steel in the Damascus, which is the darker one. And I'm really just loving that handle material. That Amboinia burl is fantastic. Well, thank you for watching the second episode of the Quillian Dagger. I am really happy with how this is going. It's all just a finish work from here, and this thing is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it is done. I think this is probably the most ornate knife I have ever made. That's why I like doing YouTube. It kind of pushes me to do the craziest stuff I possibly can. Make these knives as beautiful as, 
as possible, as beautiful as I'm able to. Uh, because of that, I learned to forge titanium Damascus, which is not an easy feat. Um, and I have my stainless Damascus game down too. I've gotten good results the last three billets, so there will be a video on that at a later date. But I'm just really, really happy with how uh, just how much making these videos has been pushing me um, both to make a better video and to make a better knife, which is really cool. So I want to thank you once again for watching all of these. There will be one last video in this series of all the finished work. So I hope you will catch that uh, third video for this knife. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers. I haven't decided quite what yet, but it is going to be something little and cool that I can just give away to any of my subscribers. And then there will be another giveaway at 1,000. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, I'm really excited to keep making videos for you guys. So I want to thank you one last time for watching today. And uh, catch you next time on Let's Make a Knife.